Hi, I'm Dr. Beverly Yates, MD, licensed doctor of naturopathic medicine with over 30 plus years of clinical experience. And in my online clinic, it's been my honor to work with some patients who are currently making use of peptide therapies like say, Manjaro or Ozempic, also known as semaglutide. And you know, one of the things that's just so interesting with these therapies is these peptides really often fill in a missing piece for people who are still struggling with perhaps their blood sugar, their weight, or both. And I'm a fan of doing whatever works. I've also noticed though, that when people are on these kinds of peptide therapies, they often still aren't given the full lifestyle support. So here's the deal. You need to know about the Yates protocol, something I've perfected and honed in over 30 plus years of work with over thousands of patients who have type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes. And in that work, we cover the five lifestyle pillars. They are nutrition, of course, right? And nutrition is specific, so it is blood sugar friendly. It is not a one size fits all nutritional plan. There's actual flavors, you're never hungry, and there's nothing weird or faddish about that, okay? Real food. Number two is gonna be stress. We have to understand how your body responds to stress because without that understanding, it's gonna be easy to make mistakes, the kind of mistakes that trap you into problems with overeating or with cravings or things of that nature, right? Number three is going to be sleep. What are your sleep patterns? What are your sleep habits? And knowing what's your best sleep type or chronotype, that's a big deal. Get that figured out because your blood sugar is tied to that. There's no point in fighting how you actually are. You know, if you're an early bird, we have to honor that. If you're a person who likes to run late, we need to honor that too, okay? Then number four is gonna be exercise. Oh yeah, exercise, exercise. It is such an important part of blood sugar regulation and that includes resistance training, strength training. So aerobics and strength training together can really be the mix, but you might be working too hard and not doing the right things or not specific things, okay? So it's important to know what really matters for better blood sugar control. One thing I have seen is that pounding yourself into the ground is not gonna be the recipe for success. And as we get older, you really need to figure out what are the things that are science-backed, evidence-backed. And then number five is gonna be meal timing. What time of day do you eat your meals? Do you have a reasonable amount of time between breakfast and lunch and lunch and dinner? Or is perhaps lunch goes, gets thrown out the window? Or maybe you eat your dinner too close to bed. So meal timing makes a difference. And if you're doing intermittent fasting or any other kind of nutritional plan, that's also something that needs to be looked at. So for those aspects, if you are a person who is using any of those peptide therapies, so that could be Manjaro, known as terzepatide, or it could be Ozempic, known as semaglutide, please know that you still need that lifestyle support. Everyone deserves to be healthy. You need all of the tools so that you can be successful, whether you're dealing with the food noise, perhaps in your brain, whatever it is, you can make peace with food and feel well again.